on uh, the Vinci itself and I've opened up my new project and I've given it a name of how to you know make a YouTube short in the Vinci itself 17 that kind of a funny title uh, so you can go on and create any project here just go to the project um, management uh, tab over here then go to new project and then you have a project like mine okay when you're done with that so just jump back to your edit page just in case it opens in any page just come back to the edit page I'm gonna go on and import media so I have already organized my media that I am going to use over here and, um, okay so uh, they're telling me whether DaVinci Resolve should keep the frame rate or change it. I'm gonna say change it because the frame rate of my footage is uh, different from uh, the frame rate of the timeline settings. So I urge you that you get footage from either whichever whichever site that you really decide could be Pexos or Pixabay or th those sites there and then make sure that it's uh, it's within this resolution so this is 1080 by 1920 so to kind of have that vertical flipped design so I'm gonna go on and put them to my timeline and I must know what is best so I already named them I'm gonna go and select one so I've selected them I can just drag them and drop them into my timeline just as simple as that I can even go on and unlink because I don't really have an audio in here so I can go on and, and unlink the clip so that I can remove all the audio because I, I, I don't really have an audio within any of these clips so when I give it a play they're kind of like boring footage that I got from uh, pixels that you can't really find any meaning if you haven't really worked on them so what I want to first do is highlight all of them and change the speed I want to change the speed to let me boost it to 200% because I just want to have something that's short and engaging and eye-catching and yeah you can also just type in and then double click in and then just type in 200 and then after Oh, sorry for that. I must do it on every clip. So let me just go on and type in uh, 200 and also this one uh, 200. Okay, and this one 200. And this one uh, also 200. Okay, so after organizing them like that, I'm going to turn on my snapping so I can align them easily uh, near each other. Okay, just as simple as that. Okay, when I am done with that, I'm going to go on and, and change my timeline settings because we want a timeline that's, that's set um, uh, ready for, for YouTube YouTube shows you know it's 1920 I mean 1080 by 1920 so you must really make sure that you change the settings so go to your timeline and then right click and say timelines and go to timeline settings and make sure this uh, use project setting is turned off so that you can put in yours so I'm gonna go on and say uh, 1080 by 1920 Okay. and I'm gonna go okay. Let's say okay so what I have now is a timeline that's ready to fit into my footage just as simple as that and so when I have done with that I'm gonna go on and import create a new bin uh, from my master bin and I'm just gonna go uh, create a new bin and I'm, I'm gonna call it music uh, music and let me let me go on and import in my music I already made uh, got some music over here from Pixabay still for free <laughs> really great what I want to do also is grabbing some sound effects so let me just go on and import some sound effects here so I'm gonna name this as SFX standing for sound effects and let me go on and import um, some sound effects here 
well unfortunately this is a video so I have to cut out okay so I know that now I have almost everything I can go on and from the beginning I can just go to my music now and so I've already set up my timeline settings everything is set up uh, I can just drag and drop in my my music so I want to zoom out so you can really zoom out by by just pressing the alt key on your keyboard and then uh, scrolling down or up the scroll button on your mouse just as simple as that so, let's just give it a play and see how it really is right now So yeah, uh, that's kind of like a quick preview of what we so far have, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna mute my volume over from over here. Guys, you can also mute mute uh, your volume from just over there. Okay, so I'm done with that. What I'm gonna do next is add in some uh, this laughter thing. You know, someone laughing and all that kind of humor to kind of bring things to life. I'm just gonna unlink them and link so I can disable this I can just press D and then I have disabled um, the video alone please you, you you must click outside so that you unselect and then you can just click back and then you can control uh, the audio and the video differently so if I want to disable the video the audio I can just click on it and then also the video i can just easily click on it or i can even remove it or move it around just as i'm just gonna press backspace to delete it okay okay that's great so we have this kind of like uh, an introduction so let me just give you a pray because i have added some funny some guy you know laughing behind so let me just uh bring back my my volume so you can hear what i am doing so yeah just just some kind of funny you know youtube uh short just over there you know just to kind of uh, bring but i see this this um the sound here is kind of really too much loud so i'm just gonna bring it a little bit down around negative 2.2 that's that's really fine just give it a play <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that 